side. She makes the mitered corner at the top of the bed and tucks in the entire side of the bottom sheet, pulling it tight to make sure there are no wrinkles. Next, she pulls the plastic and cotton draw sheets tight so there are no wrinkles in those and tucks them under the mattress. Now the caregiver places the top sheet even with the top of the mattress. She unfolds it lengthwise and centers the crease in the middle. The hem at the top is placed with the seam facing up and away from the patient. Extra material is folded to the center of the bed. Next, the blanket is placed on the bed so the center is in the middle of the bed. And the upper end is six to eight inches from the top of the mattress. Then she folds the extra material to the center. The bed spreads next. The upper end is placed so it is even with the top of the mattress. She makes sure that the linen facing the door will be covered by the bedspread so the bed has a neat appearance. She tucks in the top sheet, blanket, and bedspread at the foot of the bed. The caregiver goes to the other side of the bed and straightens and smooths the linen, moving from the head to the foot. She then tucks the linen in at the foot of the bed and makes a mitered corner on both sides. She grabs the top linens and pulls up, making toe room when the patient gets into bed. The top of the bedspread is turned under the top of the blanket to make a cuff. Then she brings the top sheet down over the bedspread. These steps are not done in some facilities, so check with your supervisor. Next, the caregiver places the pillow in the pillowcase. There are two methods that may be used. One method involves placing the pillowcase flat on the bed while grasping the zippered end of the pillow into a V-shape and then guiding the V-end into the pillowcase. She releases the pillow so it opens into the corners of the pillowcase. The other method involves holding the closed end of the pillowcase and gathering up the rest in her hand. Then grasp the pillow with a covered hand and pull the case over the pillow. It is never acceptable to put the pillowcase on while holding the pillow tucked under your chin. The pillowcase opening should be directed away from the door to the room. To finish the procedure, the caregiver attaches the call light lowers the bed to its lowest position and places personal care linens in the bedside stand. To open the bed, the caregiver grasps the linens, walks past the foot of the bed and fan folds the top linen in thirds. When the patient gets into bed, the top linen can be pulled up easily. Finally, the caregiver leaves the room and washes her hands folding the blanket and or spread for reuse. A complete linen change is not usually done every day unless the linen has become very wrinkled, wet, or soiled. When the bed is changed, the mattress pad, the plastic draw sheet, the blanket, and the bedspread can be reused if it's not soiled. So collect only the items that are needed when you're gathering your linen. When removing the blanket and spread, fold them neatly so they can be put back on the bed easily. To fold a blanket or spread, loosen the top linens from the foot of the bed. Fold the top edge of the bed spread to the bottom, then fold the near side to the far.
fold the top edge to the bottom edge again one to two times. Place the spread over the back of a chair. Repeat the same steps for reusing the blanket. Making the occupied bed. Sometimes a patient is unable to get out of the bed in order for you to change their linens. You will have to change the linen with the patient in the bed. This is called making an occupied bed. As with all procedures, the caregiver starts by washing her hands. Then she collects the necessary linens. After placing the linen on a clean surface, she explains the procedure to the patient. She provides for privacy by pulling the screen around her patient and raises the bed to a comfortable working height for using proper body mechanics. Next, the caregiver lowers the head of the bed as near to flat as is possible. She applies the glove if she suspects that the linen has been soiled with blood or any other body fluid. Then she loosens the top linens at the foot of the bed. Because the caregiver is going to reuse the blanket and bedspread, she folds them and places them over the top of a chair. Before removing the top sheet, the caregiver covers the patient with a bath blanket, which will keep her warm and provide privacy during the procedure. Then she lowers the side rail on the side nearer to her and unfolds the bath blanket over the top sheet and asks the patient to hold the bath blanket. If she's unable to do so, she would tuck the bath blanket around and under the shoulders to hold it in place. Then the caregiver grasps the top sheet under the bath blanket at the shoulders, pulling it down to the foot of the bed and removing it. It is then placed in the laundry hamper. Next, she makes sure that the mattress is at the head of the bed and positions the patient on the far side of the bed, making sure the pillow stays with her. She loosens the linen from the head to the foot of the bed. The caregiver notices blood on the draw sheet, which will need to be reported to the nurse. Starting with the cotton draw sheet, the caregiver rolls each piece of linen towards the patient's body. She removes her soiled gloves and washes her hands after raising the side rail. Next, she lowers the side rail and applies clean gloves. 